What's going on guys? In this video, I'll show you some of the personal cars I've used on 2K15 and some that I made for my friends. And if you guys are interested in any of these cars featured in this video, just let me know on the comments and I'll put them up for you on 15 and I will be remaking them on 2K16. Sorry. All right, first one up is a uh, Cryptic Monkey for a friend of mine who had that gamer tag cryptic monkey and he's supposed to be a cryptic type animal so if you look at his face it's supposed to be reminiscent of a gorilla and just strange animal period and if you look on the tights you'll see a face a gorilla face with a question mark and i think it looks a lot like mojo jojo in fact i might have been looking at mojo jojo to make them didn't start off that way, but ended up that way. Anyways, his name is Cryptic Monkey. And as you've seen, the first attire was green, white, and black. This one is red, white, and black. Really like this character. I don't know about this character getting up online. Uh, I have to go ahead and ask uh, Cryptic if it's okay with him for me to put him up. If you guys ask for him, I'll ask him. All right, this is Jinx the Cat. Uh, bad luck in fur. <laughs> Anyways, he's supposed to be a hybrid between human and cat. And he's the one that got away. As you can see, he's number 13, and that's what he was labeled. And he's a cross between a human and a feline. I terrorized many a people online with this character. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. I kind of based it a little bit on Felix the Cat. Just made him more evil. Alright. This is one of my dragon cars that I made. This is going more for a Japanese style dragon. And as you can see. I used the logo for uh, from the game. The basic dragon logo that's on it. As you can see there on the pants and on the chest. And uh, the paint tool I made was for the face area there you see the mask make it look like a dragon and then um i went ahead and used uh the paint tool to make a dragon type skin or snake skin as you can see on the top shoulders and on the pants okay this guy is my phoenix character and he's loosely based on uh, the phoenix character from uh, lucha underground uh and i do mean loosely i try to make a little bit different and uh, this is what I came up with as you can see with the phoenix on the pants and it, as you can see there on the chest I went ahead and took the rock tattoo and you know it has a tribal on there and I went ahead and put in the Mayan face in there the Mayan calendar face I think it came out pretty good and again the mask the same thing paint tool for it and here is puma kid and he is also loosely based on the lucha underground uh, prince puma as you can see puma kid sporting uh, some shorts yellow and black now, i think that the face the face mask that i made here the paint tool is roughly what they should have done on lucha underground i don't really get uh Prince Puma's mask on Lucha Underground, but I guess that's just me being picky. But definitely, if he wore something like this, he'd look more uh, menacing and fierce. And this is the second attire. I have quite a few attires, but uh, I just picked some of the some of my favorites. As you could see, the logo of the Puma uh, clawing, out, trying to claw out of the design. Right there, right on the pants. And of course, I've used uh, different pants for it. Kind of Ray Mysterio type look. And the face, uh, face paint. And on the shoulder pad. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the uh, elbow pad. All right, here's another Here's another um, attire form, and it's the 
purple and black attire. And as you can see, it's uh, more of a panther. So that's what I was going for. But, uh, you know, it still kind of fits it. Puma, panther a little bit, you know. Um, I really like how that one came out. Looks like it's crawling right out of the shadows. It's coming at you. And once again, same same uh, paint tool for the face mask. Uh, just recolored it. I think it came out really, really good. All right. And this character is loosely based on um, my friend Hayabusa's Damager car. And, uh, you know, it kind of make made it look a little bit like it. His name is Ray Scorpion, which means King Scorpion. And that's his red and gold attire. I've used this quite a few times, and I put different uh, move sets on him. High flying, and, and sometimes I put power moves on him, so it kind of uh, fixes him up pretty good. All right, this is the black and gold attire. You see the scorpion logo. I did that one. That's a paint tool. Um, face, face paint was also a paint tool. All right, really had fun making this guy. I usually don't put him up. Oh, here's my bandito call. Um, this is one of my favorites. I'm going to be making into, hopefully soon, into an actual uh, wrestling figure. I'm going to go ahead and uh, customize uh, either a wrestling figure from the Mattel line or uh, from the Masters of Universe uh, line classics. I might be uh, making him in a, an actual uh, action figure form. Now, that was the Pancho Villa attire, and this is, I believe, the girl attire on the back. And it's a very interesting character. Um, like I said, I was going to say, uh, I don't really put up my characters right away, um, because my personal characters, because what winds up happening is people put hacks on them and they, they re-upload them and then, uh, they wind up taking theirs down and mine also. So I can't really use them. So that's why I don't really, uh, like doing, uh, like uploading my, my cause right away. The ones that I'm going to play with anyways, online. There he is, El Bandito. And here is um, my friend Hayabusa's Damager Call. Um, I don't know if you guys know anything about it, but in, in 2011, Mattel and, um, at, uh, well, what was it, T, THQ at the time, uh, got together and made a contest. And they were going to, uh, people were submitting their cause and they were going to be made into an actual action figure. And uh, a guy submitted this, this character but it really wasn't his. He took it from my friend Hayabusa and there was a big controversy and my friend Hayabusa did not get his figure. It was pretty mess, messed up. Anyways, here is one of my friends online, uh, White Maniac, um, Trey. His name is Trey. And I just decided it would be funny to put him at the end of the video. Um, that is his face. Uh, I did a uh, uh, face sculpt uh, of him in the game. I morphed his face, so that's actually what he looks like. All right, we reached the end of the video. Um, I thank you very much uh, for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter, uh, at KingWCC. Until the next time.